Chica Osai Uba believes that there is more to life than what you can see or prove by science. He is a pastor, an author, adaptive leadership teacher, and coaches people in life mastery and spiritual intelligence. Welcome to another session on spiritual intelligence. I am Chika Osayoba, author of Survival in a Hostile Environment. In this session, we'll be considering understanding satanic operations in the spirit realm. Understanding satanic operations in the spirit realm. A spiritual world exists out there that is as real as the physical. This spiritual world influences, affects most of the things that take place in the physical. It is safe then to say that there exists a double kingdom system of light and darkness. In this dark world that I call satanic, there are operations that take place in the spirit realm. If you take a look at the organogram or category, you will notice that at the top of this operation is Satan. Every Christian and believer in Christ is well aware of who Satan is. The Bible calls Satan the old man the old serpent. He sometimes manifests as an angel of light. He is a deceiver. The one who wants to mimic and imitate everything that God is. He is called Lucifer, the son of the morning. He is the commander in chief of this operation. Between Satan and the principalities are two councils that are crucial in understanding satanic operations in the spirit realm. Since Satan likes to copy and mimic everything that God has or put in place in heaven, you have the Alpha and Omega Council. The Alpha and Omega Council is made up of 24 spirits or 24 demons. These demons are partly those who make up principalities and powers. We shall look at these in details later. But let's concentrate on the Alpha and Omega Council. It's made up of 24 demons. The Alpha and Omega Council of Satan meets once every year. The aim of this council is to discuss anything and everything that will further the satanic agenda here on earth. Here in this council, the goal is to table any matter that has to do with extinguishing the spread and the propagation of the gospel of Jesus Christ here on earth. Representatives are sent from all across the world to attend this meeting so as to present their cases and the council will listen to them and adopt strategies that will be worked out in line with the direction of the desires or the reports that the representatives on earth brought to the Alpha and Omega Council. Omoba Jesu, a certain cultist who lived in Lagos, Nigeria, attended one of such meetings. He related the scene in that meeting. When they were all seated and Satan walked in and sat down, one of the demons who came from earth as a representative from a certain quarter of earth, greeted the devil in their language, Modis Kalustra Oyogi. Their language referring to him as the highest height. And Satan asked him, 
what have you brought to present? Because he is the chairman of this council, the Alpha and Omega Council. And the demon said, what shall we do to those who mention the name of Jesus Christ here right on earth? Because they are spreading wide like fire. And Satan said to the demon, never you mention that name again here. Because that name is like arrows of fire to me. You just call him the good man. Do you now see why people increasingly are finding it difficult to call the Bible the Bible? It's better to call it a good book. Do you now see why increasingly people are finding it difficult now to say in Jesus' name, just abbreviate it. Closely attached to the Alpha and Omega Council is the North Atlantic Council. The North Atlantic Council is made up of the 12 queens of the coast of the world. The 12 queens of the coast of the world who come from the seven seas and the five oceans that border the world. The seven major seas and the five oceans that border the world. They meet once in two years. It is a Bayana Council or a Bayana Conference. What actually is done at the North Atlantic Council that meets in Atlantis is to discuss fashion models, cosmetics, and various other forms of entertainment trends that will take the world captive and move the world away from godliness while becoming sexually and sensually captivated. And gradually, their sense of morality becomes eroded. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. In 2002, since I love fashion, I watch Paris fashion show, Milan fashion show, and all the major fashion shows in the world on the wrong way. I do. I do because I try to look out from certain things that we might have gathered from the spirit realm to see if they are already in operation in the physical to know how to direct our prayers. In one of those Paris fashion shows that held during the spring in Paris, because the clothings that were on the runway that day were models of things that were to come forth in the summer of 2002. The late German designer, named which helped, was actually the one on set. And his girls were on the runway displaying this black silky gown that hugged their body in a particular way. It looked actually very attractive. They were all black. And he named this Chanel. When they were offset, the TV presenter on France 24, Francois Car asked him during the interview that, where did you get the inspiration from for this collection you call Chanel? And he said, and I quote, from a book, found 3,000 feet right in the Atlantic Ocean that no eye has ever seen. Let me repeat. He said, the book is found 3,000 feet right in the Atlantic Ocean, kept away from human eyes. All he was referring to was the city of Atlantis that exists right there in the Atlantic Ocean, where the North Atlantic Council meets to discuss fashion trends, fashion models, issues of cosmetics, and entertainment 
that have to take the world captive. Whew. Whew. I guess you've been saying that was hot. Of course. This teaching on identifying satanic operations in the spirit realm has been, whew, watch out for the next video. Now, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscription button now, today, and turn on the notification bell. As you watch out for the next video, keep safe. God bless you.